everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a brand new My Damn Hauls episode and it is insane. I know you can only see the one package here. Now this week has been insane for me as far as figure hunting, figure pickups. I've come across a ton of stuff. I purchased a lot of stuff this week and I still have more coming in the next few days from trades, from crazy stuff all over the place, man. I, like this room is a complete wreck with figures stacked on top of ish. And this showed up at my door and I had to make its own separate video because it deserves it and it's completely awesome awesome. I did see some of the contents in the box, which is amazing. You guys are going to have to see this, but this package is insane and it is full and it takes up my full backstage area, which is why I had to change the camera angle. It's very heavy. It's amazing. It has some great artwork on it that we're going to cover, but a huge shout out to my man, Connor Whittem. I think it's Whittem. Could be Whitham. I think it's Whittem though. Connor Whittem. Huge shout out to my man over there. He is from Maine and he sent this along as a fan mail package and it is insane, man. So a huge shout out to Connor. Thank you guys so very much. His entire family. Look at this right here. So right here you guys can see my damn haul you got the mdt logo right here which is so sick great job on that whoever drew that it is upside down but you guys can see it says my damn toys right here it's the logo there so just a fantastic job on the packaging here but wait till you see what's in the contents of this i think you guys are going to be pretty hyped and you guys enjoy the mystery style box stuff that we get so it's kind of been a long time staple of the channel we have done this quite a few times on the channel where i get like a massive box of stuff and we just kind of run through it and i break it down and my backstage just fell because that's how damn big this box is but welcome to another edition of my damn hauls we are slowly approaching Approaching number 100 and with all the ish that i've gotten this week 100 could be a perfect episode for some of the stuff i got but we're gonna be way past that but opening up the context of the box i may have to also raise this up i don't know man it's just it's, it's a freaking just god in heaven i'm gonna push this back all the way so that we can see what's going on and we can unpackage this correctly now the first figure that's in here is insane and you guys already know that i'm a huge john cena guy john cena is my goat he's my favorite of all time dude look at this custom figure right here and if you're a john John Cena fan, you should know immediately what this is, man. Get a load of this. This is a custom elite John Triton from the first Marine movie. Got the gray shirt, got the blue jeans here. I'm guessing he used the Hollywood Elite, and he has brought it to life here, man. So he used the Ultimate Edition head, or one of the Ultimate Edition heads. He has a gray shirt on there, even has the watch, he's got the jeans, and he even has the Tims on there painted. So that is so sick. He even threw in, I want to say, I'm not insane, but I want to say that either came with the Marvel Select Deadpool, or that came with a Marvel Legends Punisher. Nonetheless, dude, how sick he even has, like, the dirt on him. And this is gonna go perfect on my John Cena shelf, first of all, and then my Hollywood shelf. So, he even has the blood on there. Just a sick figure, man. I marked out when I first unboxed it. I'm, mar I'm marking out now. This is just so cool, man. So appreciative of this. This is beautiful. I cannot wait to put this guy up on the shelf. So, this John Cena, John Triton, is so cool, man. But we have a whole box full of other things to get through. They also wrote us a note here, so I do want to read this aloud to the class. It says, what is good? My name is Connor. I am four. My family loves to watch your MD T channel. I really like your toy hunt videos. My mom laughs when you burn yourself from the trusty white hair dryer during figure surgeries. Thank you, mom. My dad and I watch you the most, and he makes custom figures too. He has a YouTube channel called Fun Rise Figures, so go check him out. I'll put a link in the description. Sometimes you can hear me in the background. I'm so glad you found your Chase Sting. I haven't found one yet, but that was one of my favorite episodes. I've been collecting this box of figure parts for a long time now. Hopefully, you can use some stuff. We also included a special mask, ooh, and a custom figure my dad made you. So, a huge shout out to dad, man. The John Triton is sick as hell, man. Holy crap. What a sick figure. I don't think I've ever seen it, somebody make a custom John Triton before. We know John Cena is your favorite. Correct. I have too many favorites from WWE and AEW. I hope you can use this for a Halls video. Check. Maybe even before I turn five on May 9th. And check. Beat it a month before. Happy early birthday. Hopefully asking this doesn't cross the line. Absolutely not, Brad. Thank you so much, man. Huge shout out to the whole fam over there. Huge shout out to the Widdoms. Hope I'm saying that right. We're going to unbox this and we're going to take a look at all the contents inside and hopefully I don't cross the line knocking everything over because I'm an idiot. Pulling out the packaging here. Looks like we got a bag full of heads. We'll go through, uh, we're gonna go through everything in this box, man. So, huge mystery box, My Damn Hauls episode. Got some stuffing here. I can even use that, so I appreciate that. We also have another reference photo to what he was making there, John Triton. Beautiful. We got, what I'm gonna do, how about I pull everything out of the box and then we'll go through it one by one, just so I can get this box out of here and we can go to our normal setup there. So, we got baggies full. Dude, how freaking cool. Oh my God in heaven. A Willow mask. A Willow Jeff Hardy mask. How sick is this goes perfectly with my willow jeff hardy elite how cool is that man that's awesome thank you so much for that man this is so cool might have to put this on in videos or something we got some more fodder stuff we got some more figures and stuff all right let me put the box away get all the stuff on thing and then we can just bring everything one by 
right one in. How about that? All right, man, so I got everything out of the box. I do just have this big uh, wrap-up right here where all the figures are, so we'll just take from it one by one right here and just kind of show off everything here. So starting off first, man, let's get into, we have a Shawn Michaels basic, which is really cool, and I haven't went through all of these and, like, seen them all close up and stuff like that just yet, so this is going to be a first for me, man, but this is an awesome, I want to say this is a WrestleMania basic from way back in the day. Great base head sculpt, and even if I don't use anything straight up, I will absolutely use them as depth for the crowd or some other fix-up or something, so this is a beautiful figure here. Next up, we have the Championship Showdown Pack Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think it came with Kane, if I'm not mistaken. Almost knocked the camera down, but got a nice knee brace on there, good knee pads on there, pretty cool fix-up there. We have a Chris Jericho Unrivaled 6 base body here, so I guess I could throw around some extra Chris Jericho parts and mix and match and make a fix-up Jericho or a custom or something like that, so that's pretty cool. Unrivaled Series 6 Jericho. We have an Elite 82 Alexa Bliss body right there, and again, anything that's loose, anything that's broken, can easily be used for customs or something like that down the line, so that's awesome. We have a beautiful base for a potential Kyle Peterson or something. Man may use that head sculpt for a Kyle Peterson, so there's a Big Show basic for extra depth to the crowd. Nice arms on there, too. We have a Rey Mysterio basic, classic Mysterio in the silver gear. Missing hands, but that's all good. We have a John Cena showdown pack, I think, with what? Shawn Michaels. It's a good base body for John Cena. We have an Elite 85 Bray Wyatt figure here, and it feels really good, like in the hand. Like, it, I don't really see any problems with this, so besides the missing hand, but all the joints feel good. Could easily make a fix up Wyatt or something. Love this pants mold in this figure, so that's sick. We got a Legends Bobby Heenan, a figure that I never got, so there you go. They really screwed with him, though. Underneath that suit, they made him look really weird. He's got like these wrinkles on his legs and stuff. They used like a tights mold for him, so very odd choices there. We have an Elite 86 Christian, I think. Not the Chase variant, but the regular version, so that's pretty cool there. Beautiful looking figure. Really cool sculpts on that guy. We have a Jax Gangrel figure. Maybe just pop the head off and put it over there on the Christian and just call it a day and have a Gangrel, but kids like to complain about figures. This is what we were working with back in the day, man. Look at that right there. Single jointed knee. No joints in the arms. Just straight up, you know, you just get your bicep lift right here. We have a bald Shawn Michaels body. We have a championship showdown Daniel Bryan. Great head sculpt on this guy. Potential. We have a championship showdown Randy Orton figure. Solid head sculpt on this guy. E pads all constructed there. They really ruined basics, didn't they? They used to be so awesome. Like classic basics. Like just look at this. This is a perfect example. Here's a modern basic versus a classic basic. Now I know that the, like look at this. You get the bicep swivel. Like it just, it's just so much better, man. It's so much better. You get like tons more of movement. It just looks like an action figure. It looks like a basic. This right here just looks like a statue. If I try to bend this knee, like dude, it's just not nearly as good. But that's Finn Balor and then this Sting basic is sick as hell. We also have an Eric Rowan basic figure with some Undertaker arms on there. So that's cool. It looks like he's tatted up. I guess that's supposed to be like a fix up, right? Because he, he got all of his, he, he got sleeved up. We have an awesome Dolph Ziggler basic in the blue trunks. Very cool. We use these arms for elite fix ups all the time. We have the Championship Showdown Kane battle pack figure, which came with Stone Cold Steve Austin, I do believe. Oh, snap. We have the, I think, I want to say this is the WrestleMania Heritage figure. Maybe the old basic, but it, uh, I, I can't remember, but it is missing the head and neck peg, but still, really cool figure. Oh my God in heaven, Brad. Look at that. A CM Punk basic. It is missing a hand. Not that big of a deal, but the shirt series is sick as hell, and the head sculpt could be used for an updated Punk. Really cool figure right here, especially on a shelf display. We got us a CM Punk basic right here in the Halloween-esque gear, and then a Rusev basic. Loki miss uh, getting Rusev's from from Mattel. So we got all those epic figures. Those were insane, but we also have these bags of accessories. Now I do want to go through those because that's where a lot of hidden gems are. So first up, I guess we can start off with this baggie right here. Now this has like a bunch of like hands and heads and arms and all kinds of stuff in here. So I do want to get into this. All right, so here, here's one boot. Okay, so there's the Jericho boots to the fodder. So there you go. I could just attach these boots and bam, I'll have a Jericho pretty much almost assembled. We have Foley legs right here. We got Mick Foley hair piece. We got a CM Punk hand, couple hands. We got some CM Punk arms. We have some wrist gauntlets from Ray. We have a hair piece from The Fiend. We have a Jack's hand. I think this is a Cactus Jack. Jack's hand or arm. We have some basic legs, some knee pads, a gloved hand from some figure I don't know about, but just some random fodder, man. Some random fodder that could be put to good use. Oh, snap. We have some clothes here. Got an Elite 84 Jeff Hardy shirt. A Survivor Series Jeff Hardy jacket shirt. We got the Alexa Bliss Elite 53 waist wrap, I think. Thank <laughs> you. 
a Biggie New Day entrance jacket. Oh, snap. We have a Jerry Lawler cape from Elite 82. Very sweet piece. We have a suited jacket mold. We have the beautiful weasel suit. How sick is that? Never got this, man, so I'm glad to own that. We got a Cactus Jack Jack shirt. I know a lot of people that love using this on the Mattel figure. We have a white cape. Low-key, looking like Piccolo out here. Look at that. Make a Piccolo custom. And then we have a bunch of elbow and knee pads. Next up, we have some more accessories here. And it looks like we have some, like, showdown pack stuff. So we have You Can't See Me side plate. We have another You Can't See Me side plate, John Cena. We have a Bobby Lashley side plate. We have Shawn Michaels. We have Daniel Bryan. And we have Edge. So that'll go great in my collection of side plates already. We got a Jax Championship. A ring bell. Holy hell, we got some gold-plated accessory commentator headsets. We have a Custom Fiend Championship. Really nice. We have a camera. We have a bag. Jax bag, that is. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to come open, but I can't get it open so all right i got it open there so you see the luggage and stuff like that also got the handle up so that's awesome we have a slammy award and i think that wraps up that baggie and our last bag is full of head sculpts and i already see some stuff that i could use in here which looks amazing so we got Elite One CM Punk head. I think that's the ringside exclusive Undertaker as Kane head sculpt. Elite Stephanie McMahon. Elite 74 Finn Balor. Elite 85 Undertaker. A Braun Strowman. A Cactus Jack. Mick Foley. A John Cena Elite 3. I think this is a Scorpion King rock figure, if I'm not mistaken. We have a Hall of Fame Booker T. We have another Stephanie head sculpt. We have an Xavier Woods head that has the ponytail chopped off, so it looks like he has a short haircut. Kind of cool. CM Punk Basic. We have an Adam Pierce. Uh, I'm sorry. Shawn Michaels Ball head sculpt. Got a Macho Man head, an Ultimate Edition Kane Slick back hair, and then another and then another Elite 3 John Cena style head. So all in all, man, a ton of great stuff here from my man Connor, man. A huge shout out to you again, man, for the awesome stuff. My favorite has to be the John Triton, though. I mean, look at this John Triton, man. Look at that John Triton figure. That is insane. So huge shout out to my man Connor and his entire family. Shout out to dad and shout out to mom. Got the custom John Triton. Huge box of goodies that will definitely get usage here on the channel man so huge shout out to you thank you guys so very much for watching thank you so much to connor again for the epic box of goodies but it had to be its own video it was just so much stuff man so much stuff in here that's awesome but that is gonna wrap up today's video man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy huge shout out to connor again subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line and have a blessed week because if you don't have a blessed week you cross the line i've been